So after uh, drawing it all in pencil, I go in with a Posca pen and I add all the details. So with the pencil, I just do the basic shape and then uh, I'm going back in with ink to mark all my cut lines and uh, put in the patterns and the lines and the circles and, you know, make it all really, really complicated. Um, I figure however long it takes to draw, it takes about three times as long to cut and hurts just as bad. Uh, please take note of all the plasters on my fingers. <laughs> uh, welcome to another stencil cutting video, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Stephen Quick, and uh, we should get going right now. So, if you've been following my videos recently, I've been doing this new experiment where I've been trying to make up a face just out of patterns. Someone pointed out in a video, tribal patterns, which I think is a very good description of them. Um, and this is another one, another portrait. Uh, if you hear barking or rattling in the background, that is the new studio puppy called Griffin. Can you hear him? Probably can because the mic microphone is very directional. If you've been following me on Instagram, you'll know who Griffin is. So uh, get over there and follow me so you can see a cute puppy before he comes an, a nightmare of an adult. Um, but he's eating lots of paint. Anyway, shall we get back onto the video? Yes, so the concept is to make a face out of patterns. Um, uh, from a single layer stencil um, the it's not that hard to do uh, so the baseline is where you want shadow put more patterns where you want highlights put less patterns um, and make sure all the patterns um, are following the contours of the muscle structure so for example uh, if you take off the skin off your face that's going to get gruesome uh, you'll see the sinew in the muscles and that's what makes up uh, the shape the biceps the, on this case the nose that's the skeleton but so whichever way that curves is the way I'm doing the curves so the cheeks bulge out um, the the lips bulge up at the top the, and then down at the bottom so the patterns just follow the bulging so it's kind of like shading if you like um, more more patterns with the shading less patterns with highlights um, and this one is a, a portrait of a friend of mine who I've painted many times uh, she's got a very good face to paint and a very good face for this very heavy structure so this works really well um, uh, the this has definitely more tribal this one the, uh, the the headband looks like headband it's not once you be sprayed it will make sense as what it is but um, there's lots of hair lots of flowing hair um, and in here I've cho chosen to do a lot more um, straight cuts so uh if you see the hair there i'm not putting so many triangles or circles it's all um sort of like a snake like a rib to make the hair have that curve that flow um the hair flowing down from the top around the shoulders i wanted to make it sort of um uh, musical if that makes sense sort of flow nicely and have some serenity to it just falling down her shoulders um and by using curvy shapes uh, that makes it much easier um, I better do the material because uh, when I don't talk about the material, you'll ask anyway. So let's do that, shall we? <laughs> uh, it's card. Uh, 300 GMS card. I wouldn't recommend card this thick. I would recommend a much thinner card, maybe 240, but this one I get for cheap. Uh, the knife is a Swan Morton scalpel. Um, with uh, I can't remember what the blades are called. 10, I think. E10 or number 10. Number 10 blades? I think it's number 10 blades. Um, here you go, you can see on this, so I'm putting in the lips. So if you look at the lips, you've got those little crinkles in them, uh, which give you the shape. Uh, and that's sort of just taking that to a very baseline of just crinkles. Um, and then you've got the, I think that's the chin. Yeah, that's the chin. Um, so again, very basic uh, shapes to create the curvatures. Um, I'm cutting it on a stencil mat or a cutting mat, which I recommend. If you're going to do cut, cut stencils, always get a cutting mat, a decent one, because uh, it really makes a difference. Um, and then we've got... Um, the uh, plasters that are on my fingers. <laughs> the plasters are very important, of course, because you will cut yourself a lot. I cut myself all the time, and you will too if you start out stenciling. I've been doing it for years. Um, and if you mess up, which you will do, like, do again when you're messing up, um, when you mess up and a little bit falls off that you want to be there, get some stuff called magic tape or invisible tape, it's called. It's very good. Um, it, it can cut nicely, and you can mend most things. Also, masking tape will work nicely, but... Um, so you can fix it and there's many, many stencils I have where it's got lots of tape over. You just don't see it in the videos because it's invisible, well, to a certain extent. So now we're going on to the forehead. The forehead here, um, or the forehead, <laughs> is uh, I, I put like quite spacey ones to make it look not look too wrinkled. I don't want the head to look wrinkled. But then this beautiful triangly band through the middle, which kind of again looks like a, a tribal headband. But... Um, that wasn't the intention, but it does add that beautiful um, detail to that part of the head, which I really, really love. And once I get to cutting it, which I thought I was going to do then, that's why I spoke. Um, oh, I've got a doggy eating my toes. Um, <laughs> um, what was I talking about? 
the headband, yeah. So here we go. So I've put, this is one, two, so we've got two triangles at the top and another one at the bottom. So this is making nearly like a teeth shape. Like when you're a kid and you draw like a shark, um, that's kind of the triangles, uh, triangle shape and pattern I'm doing here. The um, little bit in the middle, just when you have to really small bit, just push very hard with the end of the knife. Make sure you've got a really sharp knife because if it's not sharp, it's going to mess up. Um, got to get a good sharp knife. Uh, look for buying the uh, blades in bulk. I think I buy them from a website. Um, I can't remember the name of the website, but I get about 10 for a quid. So look around. Don't buy the expensive stuff. You don't need it. Um, my knife, as you see, has got an acrylic handle on. They really help. Um, and then at the end, I've covered it in plasters and masking tape just to stop the little blisters you can get on your fingers from cutting so much, which is rather annoying. Um, but so just... As with everything, um, anything in art, it's always just finding your way and finding the way to make it work. Um, if that's putting plaster on the end of a knife or putting... Uh, oh, I've got some paintbrushes where I've taped um, duct tape around them to make them thicker because I didn't like the handle. So whatever it takes to make your art work, just do it, just do it. Um, and stencil in the same because there is no perfect way of doing this. Uh, I've watched many of the great stencil artists, Logan Hicks or uh, CE215, those guys who are just another level. And they use cheapest blades you can think of so don't worry about that go for it and be brave um i haven't spoken much about the stencil because i've done two of these stencils before um two videos where i've discussed this sort of patterny idea um so i hopefully me rambling is just keeping you entertained to a certain extent um if you've got any questions do pop them down below because i don't really know what i can say really um this stencil's nearly done uh it's a bit more basic than the other two if you saw the other two if not look at my channel you'll see them um but this one again i was testing because this is a new thing so w with one i did lots and lots of patterns the next one i did lots and lots of detail and this one's i've made it more flow much more flowing i wanted it to be like um like i said before like a song like a perfect note that just each shape falls into the next shape to make another shape and uh, i think that's what's worked here you see this here we go this is the finished one and it's beautiful this flowing nearly like water with these little intricate details here and there which i think works really well and now once i put it up the window there we go we can see it because the uh then it's inverted the negative has become positive and i just love the the flow of it um i'm going to spray this i'm not sure how i'm going to spray this because it's so intricate but i'm going to give it a damn good go and when i spray it i'll put it up thanks for watching take care i shall see you soon bye